Okay, so this is the third video in the series that I'm working on, going from Twin Motion to the Quest 2. And this is the first video in the series where we're looking at um, working without the link or, link or without the tether to a PC. So in doing that, there are a couple of different things that we can do. And version 1 is just looking at pre-rendered files via the Quest 2. So to do that, if you recall, back inside of Twin Motion, I'll go ahead and launch that file in the background. Inside of the Quest 2, we rendered a series of panoramic files and a video file. And those are saved to my PC, and I'm going to copy those over to the Quest. So to do that, I'm just going to, I, I've got, currently have my Quest linked up. Right, let's open this file up really quick. Let's go File, Open Recent, Thorn Quest. And then let's pull these two pieces back up. So with the Quest 2 connected via the tether, one more time here. Quest 2 connected via the tether. I can open up the internal storage and I can see the uh, different files that I have. Okay, so inside of my movies folder, I have moved video10.mp4. So to do that again from my PC here, I have video10.mp4. That was the five second 360 video clip that we rendered out. And then I've got seating one and seating two. Those were both panoramic stills. And so I've got those loaded into um, my pictures folder on the Quest 2. Pretty simple. That's just a drag and drop. It's going to behave just like um, any other uh, external hard drive that you might have on when it's connected to a computer. So much easier than, like, let's say, when I hook my iPhone up. Speaking of my iPhone, I'm going to switch the view over to the screencast on my iPhone next so that you can see what's happening in the Quest as we go through it. So to do that, the first thing that we've got to do is open up the Oculus app on the phone. Okay, so I already have that open. Your phone and the Oculus both have to be connected to the same network, right? So right now they're both connected to my university network. Um, I've got my Quest 2 connected to my Wi-Fi. This phone is connected to the Wi-Fi. And now all I need to do is hit the start button. And this portion is really crucial. If I'm presenting VR to a client. Oh my goodness, I, I have to be able to see what they're seeing. Uh, if you if you have ever dropped anybody into a VR project, you're going to know within five to ten seconds, they start pointing and gesturing at things in space. And if you can't see what they're seeing, you have no idea what they're talking about. So it's crucial, it's really crucial to be able to see what they're doing. And it's super easy to do through your phone and the Oculus app. Let's go ahead and dive in. And I will launch, uh, I'm going to go ahead and temporarily disable the link because I don't really need to be tethered. That's the whole point of this is to go ahead and say, we're going to be untethered. I'm going to go to my apps. Oh, and not now. I do not need my link enabled. And there are a series of players that we can use um, that are really excellent. Um, for movies, things like that. And this is a little bit tricky because with Skybox in particular, this is a very short clip. But let's go ahead and launch Skybox first. And so this is for 360 videos. Um, currently it's a free app uh, and it's the best one that we've found so far. So I'm going to go to um, right here, video 10, that's my five second video clip. And once I launch this, it should launch me directly into um, a movie theater, but I've already viewed this clip once and changed it around. So I hit the pause button really quick right here. 
right? So let's set this up. So when I launch a video, one of the things I'm going to see right away is this stereo mode. It is going to come in as a two-dimensional cinema like this. So if I hit play here, let's scroll back through this. It's actually going to come up as this file right here um, inside of this little movie theater, uh, mid-sized movie theater. Pretty darn cool, right? But this isn't what I want. I rendered this out as a 360 video, so this is not the way I wanted to see the video. So I need to come right here to this little box and switch it from this to, instead of a um, cinema, it is a 360. Now, inside of Twin, if I render stereo, I can switch this to a 3D top and bottom, but I did not. This is a monoscopic 360. So it's a 2D single 360 video. Once I switch to that, I have the full 360 video rendered as intended, and Skybox will remember that setting and keep that setting for this video every time I open it. Um, to bring back that play playback menu in Skybox, it's just hitting any button on the controller and it'll pull it up. As soon as I look away, it's going to go away. So it's a pretty handy little function right here. So that's for Skybox. The problem with Skybox, though, is it does not view images yet, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, it would be great if it had that function, but it doesn't. So let's quit out of that app and let's bring up my app menu. And we can go to Files, Media, and here are the most two recent files. And if you notice, it's going to put these things in um, my standard filter option, newest to oldest, which is kind of annoying because, again, I'm going to have thousands of these files here pretty soon on my quest. So again, where I'm going with that is we need a better app for this right now for image viewing. And that's what we'll get to in video four, because while this works, it's still not totally acceptable, right? So that's my image that's created. It's not in 360 format. So I actually need to come back to my apps, VR animation player. Um, let's update that later. Nobody wants to watch that. Update later. I'm going to hit the uh, browse button here, or actually your media. And then I can pull up these different images. And, well, I thought that one was going to pull it up in 360. Oh, it does right here. Sorry. So right down here at the bottom, note it's saying 2D. If I toggle that to 360 2D, then I get the full... 360 version of that file, which again is nice, but I'd really like to be able to easily navigate to the next file. Again, if I'm trying to work through this with a client, wow, it's, it's kind of tough. So that was image one. I could switch that to image two and again, toggle 3D, 360 2D. And again, I'm getting these files really quickly. And if you notice, one of the key things about this that I can't stress enough to us as architects is this is a fully rendered file. This isn't rendering in real time. This is sort of a pre-rendered take on this location. So I really have good control over the quality of the file, even at the point where if I need to send this through Photoshop, I can do that as well. All right, so the next video is going to look at how can I string a series of these together in a single app so that my viewers actually have a full take and a full understanding. They can navigate through the videos, the panoramics, and treat it more like a single presentation all in one single 